Assalamualaikum guys, Ifan back again with another video and this is part two of the multi-part uh, video series we started on Visual Basic for Excel. Uh, we have already done part one. I'll put the link for it in the description below. And this is part two. Uh, in part one, let's just do a quick recap. Uh, in part one, uh, we created two buttons and we showed you two different ways to link a macro to these buttons. And basically what happens is when you click on one of these buttons, a message box pops up and uh, you know puts out a message. Uh, this one said, you click on here, it says, hello world. And this was a second example of the same, uh, you know, uh, same message box. But the, the way we did that, the way we linked the macro to it was slightly different with a more you know, straightforward way and this gives you a different uh, message so this was part one so now what we are what we are going to be doing in part two is we are going to be building on uh, what we learned in part one uh, that is creation of a button and using uh, two buttons uh, we will increment or decrement uh, the value of a cell so we either you know when you click on a button you know a particular cell value is either going to go up or down depending on which button you have pressed okay so uh, let's get started supposing uh, i'm just going to go ahead and color this in so we know that this is the cell that's going to be changing its value okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create a button here and a button here and what this button will do is it will increase the value, whatever the value is here, it will increase the value by one. And the second button is going to decrease the value by one. So when you click on these buttons, the values is the value in this cell is either going to go up or is going to go down. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create two buttons. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, create two uh, modules and link those modules to those buttons like we did in part one and then we'll actually uh, uh, test it out by uh, clicking on those buttons and see if the value in a1 cell uh, goes up and down or not okay so uh, first thing what we'll do is we'll insert a button in fact two buttons and you need to have make sure that you have the developer tab uh, visible if you don't uh, like, I, like I showed you in uh, part one, go to file options and uh, customized ribbon and just make sure that the developer tab is checked here. Okay. Now, uh, go to developer and we will insert a button and let's put it here. Okay. Um, and just click on okay. Now, uh, it's always a good idea to hold down the alt key and resize and uh, uh, you know connect the placement of the button so it's more lined up with the rows and the columns so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to make this so it's, it fits one uh, row and two columns and i'm also going to go ahead and uh, edit the text uh, increase by one okay uh, let's make it in fact uh, let's make it uh, two rows uh, high Okay, so I'm just gonna hold down the, my Alt key and drag it down. See how it jumps down the whole row instead of just partially. So that's a um, that's one button, and now we are going to create another button that will say decrease by one. Okay, and just click on OK. And uh, by the way, uh, if you notice, I just clicked on OK. I didn't uh, do a new. Uh, I didn't click on new and created the module like I had done in part one, the second example. But we'll go ahead and uh, do it this way. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Both are equally fine, equally fine and equally valid. Okay, so let's just uh, resize this. And I'm going to uh, edit this text here. Oh, sorry. De decrease by one. All right. Now, now what we need to do is we need to actually create two modules. One that would increase the cell value by one and the second module would actually decrease the, uh, uh, the cell value of A1 by one. 
okay so the way we do that is we go into visual basic okay insert module okay and sub incremental as soon as I hit enter, yeah, it puts the end sub for you. Now, what we need to do is, we need to, oops, sorry. Um, we need to read the value that's in uh, A1, all right? And then we'll increment it by one because, and then we'll uh, you know, link that macro to this button, okay? So, the way you do that is range, then bracket, and within double quotes, you put the absolute cell address, uh, A1, close bracket, dot value is equal to range, the value, Plus one. So basically, what it does is this command here defines you know which cell you or cells you're reading, and what you're doing is you're reading the value, and you're taking the same and you're adding one to it. So thereby incrementing it by one. Okay. So we can close this and let's insert another module and let's call it sub okay and this time what we'll do is range a1 dot value is equal to range a1 dot value and this time we'll do a minus one okay so We've got our two modules uh, done. Okay, this is your incrementer. This takes the uh, whatever value is in A1 and adds one to it. Uh, this, the decrementer, takes the val whatever value you have in A1 and subtracts one from it. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we've got our two buttons and we've got our two modules, but the problem is. Those two modules are not linked to these two buttons. So we, what we are going to do now is we're going to actually link these two buttons with those modules. Uh, this is increased by one. So we link this to the incremental module and this is decreased by one. And we link that to the second module, the decremental uh, module. So right click and assign macro. Okay. And because this is increased by one, we will select the um, incrementer and we will assign this the decrementer and we are done. Now, if we were to click on uh, either of these two buttons, depending on which button we clicked, the value that is in A1, that will either go up if you have clicked this or go down if you have clicked this button. So let's test it out. Uh, right now, uh, if it's empty, it's assumed to, to have a zero. So if I click on the increase by one, we should see a one over here. All right, so we've got a one here. Now, if I click on this again, it will increase by one again. So this will, instead of one, it will, should now show two. And if I click again, three, and so on and so forth. Okay, now, this button here, this is, this decrements by one. So right now, A1 is has six. So if I reduce the value that's stored in A1, cell A1, by one, we will get five. So if I click on here, it will give me five. Okay. And if I click again, it will give me four, three, two, one, and zero. Now, if I click decrease by one again, it will give me a negative one. Okay, there you go. So uh, just uh, a quick uh, recap. Uh, we built on what we learned in part one, which was uh, creating buttons, uh, creating modules and linking modules to buttons. 
in this uh, part two, what we did was we used what we learned in part one by creating two buttons and we created two modules and we linked those together. The only thing that we did different was uh, that we uh, worked on how to do actually read a value that's in the cell and then how to increment it. So range uh, within double quotes a1 dot value that reads what's in a1 and uh, it can be a range also. Uh, and whatever we have, we have added one to it. And in the second modules, we took whatever was in A1 and we reduced it by one. So that was how you would use Visual Basic to actually read uh, the contents of a cell and either increment or decrement it or change the value in some way. Uh, so this was part two. Uh, if you need, you can always go back and review part one. Like I said, I'll leave the link to it in the description. And uh, you know, stay tuned for part three. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and please also click that uh, bell icon so you will always get notifications when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.